Now, uh, it takes hundreds and hundreds and maybe even thousands of hours of training to be a kickboxing champion. This is something that our guests know firsthand. Ernesto Hoos grew up in the Netherlands, and between 1993 and 2006, he was a world super heavyweight champion four times. He's in town for a workshop hosted by Philip Nduga, a trainer and kickboxing instructor from Heaven's Fitness. Welcome to both of you. Well, thank, thank you very much for having us. Uh, Mr. Perfect, mm -hmm. that, is, that is quite a handle. Uh, tell us about your, uh, your pro career specifically. Um, well, my, my pro career really, uh, really started when I, when I went to Japan in 1993. Uh, I was a professional fighter, a semi-professional semi fighter before that. But in 1993, the K1 started and the K1 was the biggest kickboxing show uh, in the world. Uh, it was a tournament and the winner could win $100,000. That was a lot of money that time, still is, of it course. It still is, yeah. Um, and uh, I, was a, I had a little bit bad luck in the, in the beginning, but in 1997 I became champion, and in 1999 again, 2000, 2002. So I was one of the most uh, successful fighters in the K1. Uh, Philip, why don't you tell us what a big deal this guy is? Because this is uh, Mr. Perfect. I mean, he's, you're a legend. You know, when you think kickboxing, uh, you, you cannot forget the name Ernesto Hoss, Mr. Perfect. We look at him as the Muhammad Ali of kickboxing, the Wayne Gretzky of, of kickboxing. So having him in Calgary is a great honor. When I used to fight myself, I used to look up to him. Actually, I did have uh, some of your fights. And before I went to the ring, I would uh, play them over and over and over the day before, the day during, during <laughs> and really help motivate me. So having him here is like, pfft, makes my hair stand up. Your hair, <laughs> your hair, your hair, which, you know, somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> now, Ernesto, how did you get the title of Mr. Perfect? When did that come to you? When I went uh, uh, to Japan the first year, um, yeah, the people liked my fighting style and not, I was not the strongest. I was not the biggest, I, you know, but I f just filled in everything uh, perfectly uh, according to them. And that's how I got the, the nickname. So when did you uh, retire from professional kickboxing? I retired uh, seven years ago uh, on my 41st uh, uh, birthday. And um, um, yeah, I've been uh, coaching and training ever since. Okay, and this is what you're, you're in town to do. I know you have a meet and greet with fans, but also you have a full day workshop. Um, well, first of all, should we ask you to, to demo some, some moves for us? Oh, sure, I'll, I'll give you some of the demos of what we're going to be doing tomorrow. Tomorrow we're having a, a kickboxing workshop at uh, the World Total Martial Arts Fitness Center up in, uh, in, uh, in uh, at the Curry Barracks. Yes. And Mr. Perfect, uh, we have about uh, 80 people signed up for the workshop, and Mr. Perfect is going to take us through some drills. Okay, well. And uh, some of them I can show you here. Yeah, please. So, I, sure. Should I stand back? Or oh, I, no, am I, you, 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 I mean, you, am you, I safe? Yeah, okay. You okay. Very okay. careful. Oh, okay. Okay. One, two. One, two. Add a left hook. Again. Right, okay. Oh. Left. One, two again. One, two and follow with the left kick. That's it. Wow. That's it. Oh. That's it. One, two. Oh. Yeah. 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 One, two. Yeah. Oh. Again. Yeah. Yeah. One, two. Yeah. Yeah. Right knee. Right knee again. Right knee, right kick. That's it. One, two. One. Here. One. Here. Here. One. Here. There we go. There we go. Here. Okay, guys. That was that was incredible. That was an incredible amount of, of power. Now you, you're a kickboxing instructor. What I mean, but obviously he t his stuff is at the next level for everybody. But is everybody going to be like you at this workshop, or is it open to Actually, people who have a little less experience? We do have some beginners coming in. Some of my students are going to be there as well. Uh, Ernesto, I, I know yes. you're, you're both a little bit out of breath. Uh, no, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> that was some hard work. Um, what makes kickboxing a good activity uh, for people, not just for physical fitness, but otherwise? Well, I think uh, what, what I, if I look at myself, for example, if, if I don't feel right, if I have some problems or I, my mind is full of other things, when I train and when I finish the training, then I have lost that, you know. Mm -hmm. I feel much more relieved. And uh, 
Uh, I mean, you can do it on every level. You don't have to do it on, on, on the level we did right now. You can do it on a, on a lower level. And then still you will, you will get that, that satisfaction. Fitness and discipline, uh, that was extraordinary to watch, especially <laughs> from two feet away. <laughs> I want to let you know this workshop, uh, still spots available. Yep. Uh, with Mr. Perfect at Curry Barracks. That's tomorrow from 9 to 4. All the information you need, breakfasttelevision.ca. And is there a meet, there's a meet and greet yeah, tonight, Yeah, a meet right? and greet tonight at Melrose Bar and Cafe. Okay. They've What's been it? so kind enough and very gracious to give us their space so some of the fighters and the guests can come and... I mean, the greatest in kickboxing. Uh, what an honor and to meet you. And it's going to be at uh, 6.30 to 8 o'clock. 6.30 to 8 at Melrose on 17th Ave. Thank you so much for coming in this morning. Thank you. Great to meet you. Great to see Thank you, Philip.